Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be talking about FTX's Sam Bankman Fried and his ex girlfriend, Caroline Ellison. Recently, they have been making headlines again as her private diary was leaked. Now, question up in the air today was. Was this Caroline's team that put this out to try to make her look better? Or was this Sam Bankman Freed's team putting this out there to try to discredit her in his upcoming trial in October? Today, I'm going to give you my opinion on this and we'll take a peek at the crypto chart, see what's going on in the overall market as well. If you like the content, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will keep the content coming, guys. Let's hop right in. Caroline Ellison kept a Google Doc about working for FTX CEO and ex-boyfriend Sam Bankman fried I can't wait to go home and turn off my phone. There was so many articles I read about yesterday where it seemed like they were trying to make her seem like she was depressed, like, oh, poor Caroline. Oh, I feel like it, it was a sentiment that they were putting together in these headlines that made it seem like they were coming out trying to say, Oh, poor Caroline. Well, keep in mind, guys, Caroline was at the right hand of FTX's CEO, Sam Bankman fried She knew every single detail about what was going on in the FTX. Well, maybe not every detail, but she knew that they were defrauding their customers. They knew they were reinvesting customer funds. And she knew this because that's one of the reasons she was depressed. That's one of the reasons she was excited to get home, turn off her phone, and have a drink as some of these articles are writing about and you're seeing in the headlines. But now, apparently today, people are coming out and saying FTX former CEO SBF allegedly leaked Caroline Ellison's diary, allegedly. Now, this is according to the U.S. Justice Department of Justice. The DOJ has attributed the leak of Caroline Ellison's personal diary excerpts recently featured in New York Times piece to her ex-lover, Sam Bankman fried Now, couple questions come up with this. One, what would be the downside for this story to come out for Caroline? Because at the end of the day, I mean, these aren't any secrets. She was distraught. She was drinking. She was doing drugs. We all know this. She pleaded guilty in the case. And so at this point, in my mind, for her to get sympathy by having these headlines making people feel bad for her is actually a good strategy for Caroline. So I honestly lean in in the side of saying that this is potentially Caroline's team putting this narrative out that this was SBF's fault and SBF leaked it to try to discredit her as a witness. Uh, but that being said, this could discredit her as a witness. So there's always a chance that this was SBF's team as well. You can't really find out. We can't really read in between the lines. But the question is, is do you trust the Department of Justice and they're backing Caroline Ellison here saying that it, it was SBF that leaked this, not Caroline Ellison. I'm up in the air on it because honestly, yesterday the article seemed positive for Caroline Ellison. And now today they're blaming SBF for more. So it seems to me more pro-Caroline and more anti-SBF, which makes me want to believe that maybe Sam Megan Fried wasn't behind this. But this is speculation, guys. Uh, just wanted to share this story with you. And then on top of that, Let's, let's look at this because poor Caroline, right? Is she so poor? Well, SBF got $2.2 billion from FTX, but his ex-lover only, and she just got, you know, $6 million. Oh, poor Caroline. You only got $6 million. Oh, it's, it's so sad, you know? No, I mean that, but look at this article. That's six, 367 times less than her ex Bay. Who writes an article like that? It is still $6 million, $6 million that she couldn't, shouldn't have gotten from the company that was defrauding customers knowingly. She was doing drugs and fornicating in a mansion in the Bahamas. Not poor Caroline. Terrible, terrible Caroline and terrible, terrible Sam Bankman fried is the truth of this. But these aren't the narratives we're seeing in the story. Uh, on top of that, we're not hearing about the fact, and, and I guess we are today, that she paid herself $22.5 million bonus around the time she estimated more than $10 billion cash shortfall at FTX. That's not right. So these two are both in the wrong, and what they're doing is they're playing games with politics, whether somebody's on the side of the Department of Ju Justice has one of these people, uh, you know, as a doing favors for them, or whether these publications have uh, news article writers doing favors for them. 
This is dirty business. This is big money talking. And this is what we're seeing in these headlines. So overall, guys, this thing will be put behind us at some point. Leading up to this trial, though, more stories are going to be breaking about the clash between these two lovers. Uh, because at the end of the day, they're, both of their parents are very, very important people. And they're going to pull out all the stops to defend their children. Both Caroline and Sam Bakeman frieds parents, these families are very important families. Graduates of MIT, friends with politicians up on top. So anything could happen in this, guys. Very interesting to follow this. Uh, and on top of that, you know, you look at stories like Sam Bakeman frieds brother planned to buy an island nation of Nauru with FTX funds to build an apocalypse bump bunker. So look at all these stories breaking right now about this FTX case. It's going to be a crazy, crazy show. And I just hope that the price of this token doesn't really go back up because it doesn't deserve to. Now, if you're a holder of the FTX token, you're sitting on it. I do hope you get your money back. And for your sake, I hope that it goes back up. But for the sake of future investors that might buy into some FOMO as this thing come back up, it's dangerous. It's dangerous and I don't want to see it. Overall, crypto's doing great, guys. Bitcoin's currently at 29000 A little bit boring today, but doing really well, up 80% since the beginning of the year, which is spectacular. And Ethereum's at $1,900. Things are looking good. And on the um, overall market cap, we can see we're trending up to the right. Got another week monthly candle printing green right now. Uh, beware of August and September, as I've been saying, and there is a chance that Bitcoin dips a little bit lower, possibly down more, most likely to the $29,000 level and then potentially a bounce up. But there is a chance, guys, that we hit down to $27,300, in my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. That is the news for the day on Sam McFried, on FTX, on the leaked diary uh, or maybe leaked by Caroline or Sam McFried. It's up in the air. Let me know who you think it is down below. Guys, that's all I got on this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash that like button.